The Dinagat Islands are a group of islands constituting a province in the Caraga region in the Philippines, located on the south side of Leyte Gulf. The island of Leyte is to its west, across Surigao Strait, and Mindanao is to its south. Its main island, Dinagat, is about 60 kilometers 37 miles from north to south. Declared a province in 2006, the Dinagat Islands comprise the second newest province of the Philippines, with Davao Occidental 2013 being the newest. History The province is known as one of the archipelago's holiest sites in the pre-Christian native religion. It is here where the god of hurricanes was persuaded to relent his attacks on the islands by Da, the god of peace. The province in pre-colonial times was much influenced by the Rajanate of Butuan which was nestled in present-day Agusan del Norte. It was also used as the entry point of the Rihanat of Ternate, present-day Moluccas of Indonesia, to attack the Rajanate of Butuan, Rajanate of Cebu, the indigenous settlements in the Anda Peninsula of Bohol, and the Kingdom of Dapitan, located between Panglao and Bohol, which later moved in northern Zamboanga after the Kingdom of Dapitan was destroyed. Although one of the newest provinces of the country, settlements in the Dinagat Islands were already present during the Spanish regime as a result of migration of people from nearby provinces of Bohol and Leyte. The so-called mystical province played an important role in the country's history, particularly during World War II, adding to the historical significance of the province as the foundation of the Philippine Benevolent Missionaries Association by Ruben Acleo Sr. The municipality of Dinagat is the oldest community in the province. In the early days, a story was told that a stranger reached the place in search of greener pastures. He approached a native and asked what the inhabitants do for a living. The natives said that they farm and fish to live. The stranger's interest in fishing prompted him to inquire where they fish, and the native replied and pointed to a place saying, Din hai nini na dagat, here from this bountiful waters. Since then, the place was called, Dinagat. The municipality was formally established in 1855. It occupies the territorial boundaries of the whole island. From 1890 to 1990 its boundaries were gradually reduced giving rise to six municipalities, Loreto, Cagdanao, Livio, Basilisa, Tubajan and San Jose. Loreto became a Spanish pueblo on September 4, 1890 under the supervision of Governor-General Manuel Sanchez by the virtue of Dirección General No. 30. It was originally called Mabua due to the ever-foaming river that runs right into the center of the community. It was named Loreto in 1881 by the Spanish priest who frequents the town, in honor of the wife of the alcalde mayor of the province of Surigao. The province was the site of the historic Battle of Surigao Strait during the Second World War. The municipality of Loreto became the entry point of the American Liberation Forces on October 17, 1944. It was on this shore that the 6th Ranger Battalion of the 6th U.S. Army under Col. Muchi landed at Sitio Compinta of Barangay Panamayan in Loreto. It was during this landing that the first American flag flew on Philippine soil since the Japanese invasion in 1941. The Americans named the place, Black Beach No. 2. The northern part of the island served as a refuge for the American soldiers, while the western border was held by Japanese forces. Capsized vessel structures are still found today in the waters of Basilisa. On December 23, 1959, Cagdanao was created into a municipality under Executive Order No. 367. Its name came from the Spanish word Cada Dia Linao meaning, everyday peaceful and calm. However some scholars say that its name came from the Visayan word Tagadana meaning, the lake people. Livio was created into a municipality and named Albor on February 29, 1960 under Executive Order No. 381. It was taken from the municipalities of Dinagat and Loreto. Albor came from the surname of the mayors of Loreto and Dinagat, Alfaro and Borja. It was renamed as Livio on June 17, 1967. The name came from the word Libu, a kind of muscle clam. In 1965, Ruben Adera Eclio Sr. founded the Philippine Benevolent Missionaries Association PBMA, at Sitio Puyang, now Poblacion in San Jose. 
PBMA is a non-sectarian organization bounded by a strong spirit of brotherhood. Not long after that, members from all over the Philippines migrated to the island to be in constant association with their founder. Meanwhile, Basilisa became a municipality on June 17, 1967 under Republic Act No. 4986. It was then named as Rizal, after the country's national hero. The municipality was renamed as Basilisa on June 21, 1969 under Republic Act. Number 5775, Tubajan, which was once a barangay of Loreto, became a municipality on June 21, 1969 under Republic Act No. 5643. According to local folklore, during the Spanish regime, a banca boarded with Guardia civils landed in the shores of Tubajan in search of a criminal. One of them came across a river and saw a man pounding leaves. Curious, he asked the man, What will you do with it? The man answered, Akong Tubajan Ang Suba Aran Sayan Dakpan Ang Mgaisda. I will poison the river with tuba leaves so that the fishes could be easily caught. When the man returned to the group, he narrated everything he saw and heard from the native to his companions. From then on, the place was called Tubajan. The newest municipality is San Jose, created on November 15, 1989, under Republic Act No. 6769. The town was named in honor of Jose Acleo who was its pioneer and father of then mayor of the municipality of Dinagat, Ruben Adara Acleo Sr. The town is the seat of the PBMA. The Dinagat Islands was part of the 1st District of Surigao del Norte Province until it became a province on December 2, 2006, with the approval of Republic Act No. 9355, authored by Rep. Glenda B. Acleo, the charter of the province of the Dinagat Islands, in a plebiscite. President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo appointed the province's first set of officials on January 26, 2007. Provincial officials were first elected a few months later. In the May 14, 2007 elections, these elected officials took office on July 1, 2007. On February 11, 2010, the Supreme Court of the Philippines declared the creation of the Dinagat Islands Province null and void on grounds of failure to meet land area and population requirements for the creation of local government units. The decision was not yet rendered final and executory before the May 10, 2010 elections, therefore the Commission on Elections still organized the elections for the province's separate congressional representative and provincial officials. Although the original decision was made final and executory on May 18, 2010, thereby reverting the Dinagat Islands to Surigao del Norte, the officials elected in 2010 continued to serve the province, even throughout the legal battles that followed, which eventually saw the Supreme Court reverse its position. On April 12, 2011 the Supreme Court reversed its earlier ruling, upholding the constitutionality of Republic Act No. 9355 and validating the creation of Dinagat Islands as a province. An entry of judgment on October 24, 2012 ended the legal battles surrounding the status of the province, and finalized the separation of Dinagat Islands from Surigao del Norte. Geography located to the northeast of Surigao del Norte, the Dinagat Islands are separated physically from the mainland of Surigao City by a narrow channel, which takes about 45 minutes to cross by pumpboat from the Surigao City Port to San Jose Port. The province is one of the smallest island provinces in the country with a total land area of 1036.34 square kilometers, 400.13 square miles. The province consists of the eponymous Dinagat Island and surrounding islands and islets, including Cavalan Island in Dinagat, La Isla Aga and La Laking Bukid in Basilisa, Kisses Islets in Libyo, and Hibison, Stingray Islet, and Puyo Islet in Loreto. Mount Redondo is Dinagat highest point standing at 939 meters 3,081 feet above sea level. The Dinagat Islands are known for its caves, resorts, and beaches. 
These include Bitaug Beach, Campintac Black Beach No. 2, Linao Spring Resort, and San Juan Cave, all in Loreto, Lake Bababu, Puerto Princesa Beach and Hagakak Cave in Basilisa, Tagbarayan Beach, Seya Beach, Legaspi Water Falls, Hinabayan and Leandros Beach Resort in Cagdanao, Talase Beach in Tubajan, Quano Blue Lagoon and Quano Cave, Ben Paz Mountain Resort and Oasis Islet Resort in Libyo, and the Cab Elon Beach and Cab Elon Gamay Beach in Dinagat. Administrative divisions The Dinagat Islands Province comprises seven, seven municipalities, all encompassed by a single legislative district. Demographics The population of the Dinagat Islands in the 2015 census was 127,152 people, with a density of 120 inhabitants per square kilometer or 310 inhabitants per square mile. Old settlers of the province are called Lumad. Residents of the Dinagat Islands are called Dinagatnon. The Dinagat Islands is predominantly a Cebuano-speaking province. However, towns facing the Surigao del Norte are Surigaonan-speaking, particularly the municipalities of Dinagat and Cagdanao due to their proximity to the province of Surigao del Norte. Influences of the Cebuano and Boholano languages with a Tausug accent can be traced. A majority speak English. Religion-religious breakdown in the province shows Roman Catholicism at majority with 53% adherents while Aglipayan is the significant minority religion at 23%. Other minority religions are the Seventh-day Adventists 12%, United Church of Christ in the Philippines 4%, Iglesia ni Cristo 3%, and other smaller Christian groups Dinagat Island Socio-Economic Factbook 2007, recent cultural, religious and socio-economic changes of the province have allowed the rebound of Roman Catholics and Aglipayans in some degree, and their numbers have constantly increased. The province had experienced a Catholic decline in several decades, 1970s early 2000s, due to immigration of the members of Philippine Benevolent Missionaries Association in the 1960s. There were some decades 1990s to 2000s where Roman Catholics became minority with as low as 37% of the population. Several religious conflicts were recorded in the province. But at present, religious harmony is relatively observed in most parts of Dinagat Island. Culture the Dinagat Islands have unique structures and landmarks as reminders of an affluent way of life. Some of which are, Galeto Ancestral Home, Tubajan Quarenta Pulang Lupa and Islanders Castle, San Jose Buri Buri Rock Formation and Lalaking Bukid, Basilisa Tubajan Bat Sanctuary and Babang Bukid, Female Mountain, Tubajan Campintac Landmark and Kisses Islet of Libyo, Loreto Festivals Bugcusan Sa Isla. Dinagatan Festival, a provincial festival bringing together Dinagat Island's seven municipalities. The festival celebrates the island's rich history, arts and culture, tourism, trade, commerce and industry, beauty and talent. Banwag Festival, San Jose Sarong Sarong Festival, Cagdanao Kinabog Festival, Tubajan Labigan Festival, Loreto Tourism and Attractions Dinagat Islands is a young island province at the northern tip of Mindanao. Many describe Dinagat Islands as a hidden gem of the Caraga Region 13. The islands are enriched with great biodiversity, abundant natural wonders and rich resources. Dinagat Islands has a multitude of fascinating white sandy beaches with arrays of colossal rock formations. These sites and attractions are as diverse as the topography of the islands and islets. According to an old legend told by older islanders, who called themselves Lumads of the island province, there is a story behind the naming of the island to D-I-N-A-G-A-T. There once was a princessa, named Dina and Principi, named Gat who escaped from their respective kingdom. They nourished, cultivated and protected the island paradise in preparation for the future generations. One day, the island paradise was invaded by foreign intruders. The couple and their children escaped from their enemies. They dove and swam in the deep blue sea and until today their survival is still a mystery because after two days, two mythical islets appeared in the middle of the sea replicating a giant human figure that the Lumads called Lilaki and Babang Bukid. Lilaking Bukid and Babang Bukid is Princess Adina when combined becomes Dina Gat or Dinagat Provincial Tourism and Culture Office PTCO Dinagat Islands has seven municipal provincial tourism and culture offices PTCO located in each municipality. The main office is located in the Burji. 
San Juan, San Jose, Provincial Tourism and Culture Office, email, pto.denagatilands at gmail.com, phone, plus 63-948-39-58853, plus 63-977-300-2415, plus 63-950668-2780 List of attractions below is a list of beach resorts and tourists attractions, recognized by the Provincial Tourism and Culture Office, PTCO. Listed by island and municipality, from north to south and east to east. Loreto Municipality Tubajan Municipality Livio Municipality Basilisa Municipality San Jose Municipality Dinagat Municipality Cagdanao Municipality Gallery Geography Government The Governor of the Dinagat Islands is the local chief executive of the province of the Dinagat Islands. Environment and Wildlife The Dinagat Islands is one of the most environmentally significant provinces in the Philippines, where endemism of fauna is unique in its region. Animals that are endemic to the province include the critically endangered Dinagat bushy-tailed cloud rat which was recently rediscovered after decades of disappearance, the endangered Dinagat hairy-tailed rat, Dinagat gymnur which has been declared by the Edge Species Program of the Zoological Society of London as one of the top 100 most evolutionary distinct and globally endangered species in the world, and a strange sub-species of the Philippine tarsier which is unusually larger and darker in color than the common Philippine tarsier. The province is highly forested and is considered as a key biodiversity area by Haribin Foundation and the Department of Environment and Natural Resources of the Philippines because of its unique fauna and flora, along with its lush rainforest which are classified as primary forests, or forests which have never been fully obliterated since pre-colonial times. UNESCO has once recommended the filing of UNESCO World Heritage Site nomination for areas in the country with high endemism rate and high conservation rate, such as the Dinagat Islands. The UNESCO nomination bid of Mount Hamagitan Range Wildlife Sanctuary of Davao Oriental was approved last 2014 after the government filed a nomination for it after the UNESCO recommendation. Gallery Plants Nepenthes voridus Nepenthes marillion Nepenthes mindanonsis Nepenthes belly Animals References External links Media related to Dinagat Islands at Wikimedia Commons Geographic data related to Dinagat Islands at OpenStreetMap Charter of the Province of Dinagat Islands Republic Act No. 9355